So today I want to show you the latest leaks and rumors for Apple's September 2024 event. Historically, this is always Apple's biggest event of the year. And from what we're hearing, the same is going to be true this time around. For under $1,000, we have the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. And for over a grand, we've got the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. On the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, design-wise, they're incredibly similar to last year. We've got the same 6.1 and 6.7 inch OLED screens on the front with the same size dynamic island. But Apple is replacing the mute switch on the side with a brand new action button that'll allow you to remap it to whatever you want. For the colors though, Apple is completely switching it up. The pastels that we first saw debut on last year's iPhone 16 are going away. Apple is cranking up the saturation and it looks like we're gonna be getting a really bright new blue turquoise as well as pink returning. In addition to of course, white and black, but it does appear according to this leaked image that these will be the five colors available at launch. On the back is a completely revamped camera system, which Apple's making a pretty big upgrade to. Not just visually, they are making it a vertical stack again, similar to the iPhone 10, which I think looks absolutely incredible. This arrangement will also allow you to capture spatial 3D video on your iPhone 16, so you can play that back in your $3,500 Apple Vision Pro. Apple's even adding a brand new button on the iPhone 16 that sits below the power switch called the capture button that will be dedicated just for taking photos and recording videos. The biggest upgrade by far, though, is going to be the new A18 chip in Inside. This will allow these phones to support all of the new Apple intelligence features from Gen Moji, text generation, image creation. That's going to be here on these iPhone 16s and the major reason you're probably going to want to buy these. Unless, of course, you want to spend a bit more and get the iPhone 16 Pro or the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which visually are not changing much at all. While the screens are increasing in size a bit to 6.3 and 6.9 inches, and the bezels are going to just be stupid thin and look like the future, the rest of the titanium body is just not going to look that much different, except the titanium could be more shiny this year. And yes, extensive rumors about a brand new rose gold color option making a comeback. We just haven't seen it pictured yet, and I'm worried that it didn't make the color. Battery life on at least one of the Pro iPhones is also getting a massive upgrade as Apple is switching the plastic battery casing to a new metal option, which will help with heat dissipation and energy density. And for the smaller iPhone 16 Pro, it sounds like that battery size could increase by about 10% year over year. Smaller iPhone 16 Pro is also going to be gaining the 5X telephoto zoom lens from the largest iPhone 16 Pro Max as Apple brings that down to the smaller size, enabling you to capture some insane photos, as well as the 48 megapixel sensor extending to the ultra wide lens, which is going to be a massive jump for photo quality there. It's going to be the A18 Pro chip inside, which could have an extra GPU core for just a bit increased performance. This chip will give you all the new Apple intelligence features on the Pro models as well. And I would bet that there's going to be some exclusive stuff for all the iPhone 16s that you can't get on even the iPhone 15 Pro.